You work really hard to craft your skills as a video editor, but it's all for nothing if you ignore sound design. Sound design can make or break your video, and you don't want it to break. Don't you worry, I'm gonna show you three exercises that will turn your videos into a masterpiece. Starting with level one, creating an astronaut voice. Here you can see Jordi on the moon, so we wanna make him sound like his voice is actually being transmitted all the way to Earth. To do that, we wanna make it sound old, which means we gotta narrow down the frequency range just like old radios or old speakers. To do that, find the parametric EQ in the effects browser and drag it on the clip in the timeline. Then move to the effects controls. Here you'll find the EQ. To open it up, click on edit. And here you can see the entire sound spectrum and when we press play, we can actually see Jordi's voice here. On the left, you'll find the low frequencies like bass. They provide body and power to your voice. And on the right side, you'll find the high frequencies. They will provide clarity in your audio. Now, to make it sound older, we need again to narrow this range. And to do that, enable the high pass and the low pass bands. Then simply grab the points and drag them to the middle. Somewhere between 200 and 2000 will be perfect. And I can't get the flag upright, the ground is too hard. That sounds great, but we're gonna make it sound even older by canceling out random frequencies. Just like with these old audio devices. Now there is an effect that can help us with that and that is the phaser. Simply find it in the effects browser and drag it on your audio. Then in the effects controls, click on edit to open it up. Luckily you don't need to learn what everything does because they have a great pre preset that works perfectly. And that is the phase 80 preset. You can adjust the intensity of the phasing right here if you want. Houston, I can't get the flag upright. The ground is too hard. All right, we're getting there. Next, we're gonna make it sound crunchier. To do that, find the distortion effect in the effect browser and drag it on your clip. Then head over to the effects controls and click on edit to open it up. The default distortion will be loaded up and this one is fine. But by dragging up these curves, the sound will become even crunchier. Now this is different for every sound, but definitely play around with it. Houston, I can't get the flag upright. The ground is too now, if your sound becomes a little unclear, you can always add another EQ to the bottom of the effects list and then simply increase the high frequencies because remember, they will provide clarity. Houston, I can't get the flag upright. The ground is too hard. Is it okay if I plan it somewhere else? And that sounds awesome. Now, I actually found some amazing sound effects on audio that I'm gonna use in the next effect. You know, let me download them real quick and put them aside. You can literally find any sound effect on audio by just typing it in the search bar. So yeah, it's definitely my place to go. It's just audio works really fast. You can browse through categories like whooshes, weather, water, ambience. It's extremely time efficient and the sound effects are top quality. Oh, and audio is also sponsoring this video. Thank you. Now, besides sound effects, they also have an incredible music library with so many genres. It becomes literally impossible to not find what you need. Just fill in the information like mood, genre, and if you want to dig deeper, you can even choose an instrument and a lot of other filters. You can actually create your very own playlist and make a collection of music that you like. I like to browse my music every now and then, and then when I like something, I just add it to my playlist. You can actually get a lifetime music subscription for a one-time payment, and by using the code PremierBasicsLT, you will get a $300 discount, which is basically giving it away for free. But you gotta be fast because the deal ends this month. You know, I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. And now let's continue with sound effect level two, losing consciousness when driving. Take a look at this first person clip of someone driving and falling asleep. Now, before we create the effect, you need to find all the sounds that you can hear from the inside of a driving car. I found my sounds from audio, of course. The first sound I added was sound of acceleration that you can hear from inside the car. Then I added one of a person that's breathing heavily because you know he's about to pass out then right before his eyes are closed i added a car honking sound effect because he's probably about to crash then when his eyes are completely closed i used a car crash sound effect to close it all up Now, this clip is in first person, so the audio of this clip has to sound like the viewer is experiencing the car crash. So when you're passing out, sound becomes dull, like two cups are going over your ears. To recreate that effect, we need to nest all these audio clips together into a nested sequence. That way we have one clip to put the effects on. Nesting audio can be tricky, but let me help you. Select all the clips in the timeline and right click it. Then choose nest. Call it car audio or something. As you can see, the clips are still individually in the timeline, but here comes the trick. Select everything and hit delete on your keyboard. Then in the timeline, make sure the insert and override toggle is enabled. Now in the project window, simply drag the nested sequence into the timeline. And there you go. Now you can add a 
effects to the entire audio clip. Oh, and you can also double click it to go inside the nested sequence. That way you can still make adjustments to the individual clips. That is awesome. Now, to create this losing consciousness effect, we need to slowly high cut or low pass the audio. That means we're gonna slowly cut off the high frequencies until it sounds something like this. To do that, find the low pass effect in the effects library, then drag it on your audio. Head over to the effects controls and here you can see a number in hertz. Everything below this number will remain untouched. Everything above will be cut off. First set the cutoff to 20,000 hertz so that nothing will happen. Now why 20,000 hertz? Well that's because us humans can only hear up to 20,000 hertz. So when we don't touch it, nothing will happen. Then click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe. Now grab the play at and move further in time. Then set the cutoff to around 2,500. Now all the frequencies above will be cut off. And now it looks like you're passing out or falling asleep. <sighs> Again, when you're passing out, you sometimes hear this annoying ringing sound. I found an audio clip like this as well and simply dragged it underneath. I want this to slowly fade in, so to do that, hold control on your keyboard and click to create a keyframe. Then go to the end and do the same thing. Now grab the first keyframe and turn it completely down. And now the ringing sound will get louder gradually. <sighs> is so cool, but now it's time for level three, recreating thunder. This is not done by downloading a sound effect. This time we're gonna record it ourselves. Now we obviously can't go outside and wait for thunder, but what we can do is use an object to recreate it. Find something big and thin, preferably metal. This desk pad from Ikea will get the job done. Now wiggling the metal will create a thundering effect and it's actually used in big movies. This is called Foley by the way, a technique invented by Jack Foley. Jack came with the idea of recording sounds separately and then syncing them with the movie afterwards. So yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. All right, once you have the sound recorded, put it underneath your thunder clip. It already sounds good, but now we need to make it sound more bombastic. To do that, we're gonna use the EQ again. Find it in the effect library and drag it on your clip. Then head over to the effect controls and open it up. Now to give it more body and power, we wanna increase the low frequencies by a lot. Just make sure the audio is not clipping. Next, we're gonna get rid of the clarity by enabling the low pass band. Then cut off a small part of the hives. That will make the rumble feel more present. That sounds awesome already, but there's still this metal rattling that I wanna get rid of. To do that, we're gonna pitch the audio down. Now in the effects browser, find the pitch shifter effect then drag it on your clip. Open it up by clicking on edit and turn it down by 12 semitones. Now to finish it off, I used a rain effect to blend it with the thunder. And that sounds awesome. Next, you will become a sound design master by learning the audio tricks right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.